Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to episode 20 of The Rainbow Bridge. My name is Rena Dwelly. I am a certified diamond dowser and inner diamond practitioner, and I assist people in clearing physical, mental, and emotional blocks in their mind, their body, and their soul, as well as their environments. Through this work, I help people raise their energetic frequency and the energetic frequency of the environments that they live, work, and play. And this allows them to have direct access to work with the law of attraction. So welcome. I'm so happy to see you guys today. Um, today, I would really like to do a meditation to connect in, send some light to these people that are in the path of Florence, their property, the animals. And, you know, maybe we can send a little light to the hurricane itself and help transmute that energy. So um, meditation is a great way to do this. And the, the work that I do, these meditations that I share, they are really magical and powerful meditations. The quantum frequencies that I work with are just incredible. So as we send light to the people, it basically banks up in an energy bank for them. And when they ask for help, it'll flow down to them, surround them with light and help them access these frequencies. So, so um, a really good example of how we match frequencies and our desires is, okay, say healing is here. And as long as we match the vibration of that, which we can do through these light frequencies and accepting these light frequencies into our being, then it helps raise their vibration to match that. So through that, we can send protection, we can send healing if they need healing, we can send light. Um, it, it's just such a, a really beautiful way to connect in and be of service to these people. Now, we can also work with the energy of the hurricane itself. And we can send light to that hurricane and actually help calm that and transform that energy. So that's just a couple of ways we can work with this energy. And, you know, I'm, I'm really grateful to be here with you today and be this beacon of light who helps you connect in and do this work. Um, I, I don't think this is an accident. So if you are here and you are watching, um, it, it's, it's gonna be incredible. And this will be a lot of fun to share out. It'll be just a really good way to be of service, to join in and do this little meditation. So please like, love, share this out. Um, I welcome all of you. I'm so excited to see all of you. It is it is really just such a blessing to be here this morning. <laughs> it's been a little bit of a crazy week for I think a lot of us as as energies shift and move and, and we're all kind of going through this little roller coaster. It seems like a little bit extra <laughs> this week. So. Um, just hang on. This is this is what we need to do to calm and balance us and working together. You know, it, it's it's just a really incredible way to bring yourself back into harmony. And remember that we are all here to help each other, lift each other up, shift the vibration. This this work cannot be done alone. Well, it can, but you know, strength in numbers is just really a huge deal. So. Um, the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you, we're going to start by doing the tubes of light. So what this does is it creates sacred space for our physical being. Um, it's really important as we do this work together to make sure that we're in sacred space. You know, you don't want to pick up anybody else's stuff and you don't want to pick up any of the energy, like say from the hurricane. You definitely don't want to take on that because I can't imagine that's a really fun vibration to carry on. <laughs> so if you haven't joined me before, I'm going to go over this really quick. If you, and like I said, if you haven't been here, don't worry. I will totally walk you through this entire process. So, um, you can see the little man or the little person here. We're gonna call in crystalline white light to balance the lower bodies. So we have the physical, we have the etheric, emotional, and lower mental bodies. We are gonna pull these bodies up and this creates an energetic pyramid. You can see here how the bodies are pulling up into a pyramid shape. 
Um, and then we are actually gonna travel up that rainbow. That's the rainbow bridge. And that connects us to the quantum field. Now check this out. You see this triangle, right? That's um, connecting in here up to our quantum point. This is our magical hat. So, um, you know, it's, it's getting to be that season, Halloween time, the little witch's hat. I just wanna remind you that we all do have a, a, an energetic magical hat. So <laughs> once we get to the quantum point, we are gonna connect in with the quantum frequencies. We're gonna call in royal blue around and beneath us to just activate a firewall of protection from lower vibrational energy. It's good to have this anyway. Um, a lot of us light workers are empathic, so this really helps protect us. Um, then we call in the rose around and beneath us. This is our love and support from the universe, and it also, we radiate this to offer love and support out to all those who may need it in the universe. It's also a really good platform to connect in with your ascended masters and do that work. Um, so, you know, just asking them to stand next to you and feel their energy, feel their presence. Um, sometimes, sometimes we need to consciously ask for them to step forward just so that we can tap into their energy and feel them next to us. They're always next to us. And especially when we need them or, you know, need to do some work with them. But it just kind of makes us aware of their presence. Then we're going to pull up violet light from beneath your feet. This is going to spiral up and we'll actually call it through all of our lower bodies here. Um, this helps us relieve uh, density, karma, anything that exists in those fields. And then from there, we're going to connect in with our heart and do a little Care Bear stare action to send some light to do these, this work and share with these people. So with that, I'm just going to take a quick drink of my tea, peppermint tea, oh, spearmint tea, sorry, this morning. <clears throat> and then I just want you to get comfortable. This is meditation, so just make sure you're comfortable. Call your, call your breath into present. Call your energy into presence. Make sure that your feet are connected to the floor. If not sitting in a yogic position, you just want to make sure those channels are nice and open. Spine is straight. And just begin by taking some deep breaths. And as we take these nice deep breaths, calling ourselves into present time, allowing yourself to be just right here, right now. Call on the crystalline white light, universal prana, and allow this to flow from above your head into your physical body. allows this to flow to all the spaces, your fingers, your toes, your knees and elbows, your hips and shoulders, allow it to flow into your torso, up to your neck, up to the top of your head, And then connect in with your etheric body. This is about four inches outside of the physical body. And allow the crystalline white light to flow into the etheric body. This surrounds you. Clearing your etheric field. We're going to connect in now with the emotional body. This is about a foot and a half outside of the physical body. Allow this to balance and harmonize all your feelings and emotions as we call in the crystalline white light into the emotional body.
This is a really important one, you guys. I can, I can just feel, you know, it's it's been a interesting time for all of us. So, just allow this to fill and surround all the spaces around you, in your emotional body. Now we move into the lower mental body. This is about two and a half feet outside of our physical body. And allow the crystalline white light to flow into the lower mental body. As we allow the crystalline white light to flow into the lower mental body, this helps balance our left and right brain. It quiets the monkey mind chatter, all those little voices pulling you every which way. Allow this light to flow into the lower mental body calming, balancing, and harmonizing. We're gonna now pull these bodies up over our head and click them together. The physical clicks into the etheric. The physical and etheric click into the emotional. And the physical, etheric, and emotional bodies Click into the lower mental body. This creates a little bit of a mini pyramid. This creates a balance in all of our energetic bodies. All your chakras are aligned. Everything is balanced. You'll see a beautiful rainbow bridge from this energetic pyramid we created right at the point. I want you to travel up the rainbow bridge and about an arm's length above your head, we connect in with the quantum point. Here we gain access to the amazing quantum field where everything is just so expansive. There are 24 light frequencies that I work with from the quantum field. And the first quantum frequency we're going to call in is royal blue to surround us, just like a royal blue tube surrounding you, protecting you. We activate our firewalls with this royal blue light. We are safe. We are protected. We are free to shine our light. And now we call on the rose quantum frequency. We call this in around and beneath us. This is our energetic love and support from the universe. And we radiate this out into the universe as far as you can imagine. We offer love and support to those who need it as well.
from the rose platform of light, we ask to connect in with our spiritual masters, our angels, any light beings who are here to assist us on this journey. Feel them step forward. Feel connected in, supported, loved. Allow yourself to hear their messages and feel their presence. It's almost um, a magnetic feeling, a little tingly, energetic, electrical. From beneath our feet, we call up the violet light of forgiveness. We pull this up over our head in our physical body. And we expand this into the etheric, emotional, and lower mental bodies. into this violet light, surrender any density, any karma, any old patterns that no longer serve you. This is the very powerful violet frequency that St. Germain uses to Transmute energies, spiritual alchemy. Allow yourself to be free. Allow yourself to turn any spaces of lead into gold, beautiful light. I just want to allow you a minute to feel what it feels like to let this go. What does it feel like to be free? You can even connect in with the very powerful I am statement. I am free of karma and density. And as you allow this density to fall away and be transmuted, you step into your dharma, which is the work of your soul, the reason you are here. And today we come together for such a good and beautiful reason to send light to the people who need it on the East Coast and help transmute the energy of the hurricane that it's on its way. So come back up to your quantum point an arm's length above your head and connect in again with the royal blue frequency. Allow the royal blue frequency to flow down into your head, travel down your spine Allow it to flow into your heart. And from your heart space, allow this light to flow and radiate to the people on the East Coast who need to receive protection and safety. 
and maybe even a little power to keep going. We allow this to flow into their energetic bank account where when they ask for prayers of light, this beautiful royal blue light will flow down and help them meet the energetic vibration of protection, safety, and the power it takes to keep on going as they continue to prepare or get through or survive. We ask this royal blue light to surround their homes, the properties that they live, the furry friends, the feathered friends, all the animals who need safety and protection and power to get somewhere safe if they can. I'm just gonna connect in with the entire East Coast side of the United States of America and allow the royal blue light to flow all the way down the map Feel this frequency beaming from your heart, connecting in and offering safety and protection. Now come back to your quantum point. We're gonna connect in with Hurricane Florence. And there's, um, we're gonna call on the opal frequency for this. Opal is for fast transformation. So we're going to allow opal light to flow into our quantum point. Fill our beautiful magical hat with opal light. Allow this to flow down into the head, down into your spine, and beam opal light of transformation to Hurricane Florence. We beam this beautiful opal light to transform the energy. Transmute the strength. And I want you to just picture the storm getting smaller and smaller and calmer and quieter until it's so small you can't see it anymore i'll just hold the space for a minute and allow this opal light to transform the energy into pure white light
I can see it shrinking, getting smaller. Trust that this opal light is strong and powerful and is able to transform the energy of this storm. We're also going to set the intention that this beautiful opal light of transformation continue to shift, change, calm, and eventually make just disappear the strength of the storm. We trust that this will be completely transformed. And so it is. Now come back to your quantum point holding your awareness at the quantum point, knowing you have access to the complete and full quantum field. Rub your hands together. Place the palms of your hands over your eyes and very gently open your eyes and bring yourself back into the universe. Did you guys love this? I sure hope you did. You, I just want to invite you all to connect with me. Feel free to send me a friend request, PM me. I would love to visit with you about what I do, how I do it, and how I can help you transform your life through this work. It's, it's pretty incredible stuff. I also invite you to become an Akashic Academy member. It is 11 11 a month. It is the best 11 11 a month I ever spend because inside you are going to find special education and bonus sessions hosted by the founder and director of the Akashic Academy, Emily Harrison. She's actually here watching with us today. And her partner, Coach Nick, who is also just a really amazing soul. Um, there's just really good information. They do full moon ceremonies, new moon ceremonies. Um, on Mondays, there's Mindful Mondays with Coach Nick. And it, it's just really incredible. There's some mantra work and just good stuff. You'll also find a really supportive community of people like, like me and you inside of this Akashic Academy. So I definitely invite you to check that out. Um, you just head over to the akashicacademy.com. Um, connect with Emily and let her know that you're interested in becoming a member. Up later tonight, we have Sacred Chakra Flow with Andrea Stepanowski. She is on at 7 p.m. Eastern time and 4 p.m. Pacific. All right, guys, thank you so much for doing the work with me. This is huge and beautiful. And um, just know that we're doing all that we can to share our light too, right? So with that, I just want to wish you a very magical day. Um, and I will see you next Thursday, same time, same place, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the AkashicAcademy.com.